What would you like to know about? Let's just talk with him about everything. Uh, Hugo is a very charming puzzle play former games. Um, didn't know that them. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of the dangerous age of corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold into some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. It would be that much harder if out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Uh, our chapter is pretty unique that way. Although I've heard some chapters near peripheries take similar stances. The church of members are always quite proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock, especially the old folks and the youngs. They've got it so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help a uh, help handle a lot of the administrative type stuff in town. We were up in Creek without them. Well, Creeks have water, don't they? What would you know, like to know about? Okay, so... Uh, oh, you guys a platformer. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, ah, the Civil Core, all that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling through the Ufola Desert. But they only have two corp members plus a cat. I'm amazed that they'll be able to keep up with all the security demands. Of course, Ben from the church help us, helps out as well. Now, the one running the Civil Corp man is Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandbrook these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. Haha, <laughs> boy, how do times change? He's a great guy, and his partner Unsur is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can sure count on them to help you out. What would you like to know? Well, that's all for now. Yep, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just gotten to experience to understand. Don't worry too much about it. You'll fit right in. Today was nice. We've gotten down to do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaways for dishes left for later. Builders can go hungry, you know. I mean, this is a great character, this Owen. I like him already. Uh, I don't think there's any news on uh, three... Uh, out of 10 season 3. I'm sorry, Pam. I wish there was some news on it. I should probably look that up. Keep an eye out for it. Alrighty. So we've done this. Uh, next up is the research center, which I think I can get to if I walk up here and then... Yeah, okay. You're missing shoot me. I understand. I do. Shoot me was great. Right, so this is the research center. Let's see whether he wants any of the data disks. Hello, Violentity. Welcome to today's stream. Uh, a data disk. Allow me to explain. Data disks are the type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. But many of them don't certainly uh, don't think anything useful. Some will have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now, granted, we're not technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with the builder's help, we can get pretty close. The disk helped me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams plus potential future plans with me all the time, so if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring enough data disk and I'll give you the diagrams. Simple enough. Come again when you have more data disks. Okay, fine. Uh, you gotta sort of look because work, but yay, Sandrock. I completely agree and lurk away, Violinity. Lurk away. And good luck with uh, work. Your coat is haunted. That's not a good thing. I mean, is it riding itself or so? That could never be a good sign. Alright, so I've done this, so I think the best thing to do now is actually go back to the selvage yard. Uh, am I stuck here? That, that's, that wouldn't be great. I can actually clean up stuff! So if stuff is dirty, I can clean up and get from it? That's rather nice. Uh, every time you think you're close, uh, close to done, some strange thing happens and it's weird and it makes no sense. Yeah, that's coding, unfortunately. Stuff happens and you have no idea why. Alright, let's go to the salvage yard. The 
looks so great. Oh, who is Faye? I don't mind his type, but I submitted a request to get us some message chairs in the salvage uh, co office. I think we need to get them, you know. Oh, he's the one um, Pac wants to leave with, I think. Oh well, let's have a look whether there's more. There is more, okay. So, let's remove this junk file again. Look at this. I'm wondering what's up there. Oh, it's probably one of those same machines that Dana had. One of those um, old elevators. It looks at least very similar to uh, the yellow construction that we had to build for Dana. Another junk file. It's my lucky day, I think. Copper scrap. Mechanical scrap. I might want to reconsider building another recycler. Because I have a feeling I might need it in the future, like, really, really badly. Or upgrade the one I'm currently having. Which both are a solid option, but I don't know how easy it is for me to upgrade my recycler as of now. Venti, have I talked to you? Oh yes, you're the one who wants to um, actually leave with Faye. Let's grab some stuff. Uh, there is some sand leaks over here. There we go, and there's another one over here. And also, um, I was thought I should probably make a weapon, which we might have to look into. And there's another junk pile over here. Odyssey signs closer how it would be spelled in German or digital fits us through better. Um, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Uh, weapons. Oh, okay. So I need more stone for that. Okay. Really sure. I need a thick rope. What do I need for a rope? I, I imagine I have to build it. No, I don't. Bearings. Do they come from the recycler? Yes, they do. Okay. So let's do all ten of them. I'm going to add some. Let's do this. But I think I need another recycler. Uh, processor. What does it do? You? I have no idea. Uh, let's go for a recycler. Oh, it's a page. Um, let's assemble though. just needs stone, like plain stone, which I don't have, which is going to be a problem, I think. I have played uh, my time at Borcha, uh, Vinanity. I have also made guides on Borcha. Uh, can I gather you? Thank you. Um, I've made guides on Borcha. I have, uh, I think, played almost three years. Uh, some do have a lot of views, but they, they are... I think the most watched videos I've got on my channels are the Borja guides. He never completed it. He played a few hours of it. Um, lots of you wants to finish a Borja before you start this one. I would, I, I can recommend doing so. Um, there are. Oh. My health is... Oh, my health is doing okay. 
But unfortunately, because I was attacking with my uh, hammer, it took quite a bit of uh, stamina away. I just wanted to gather some rocks and stones around here, but that wasn't... Oh, I need a better to look how you call it to it. Okay, so I don't need to venture out too far into the desert because otherwise uh, evil enemies. Um, so yeah, the, the, what I wanted to say before like a hot chicken uh, approached me and attacked me is um, that there are quite a couple of characters and uh, references uh, from Portia on this game. And um, Portia is a really nice beginning to get to know the uh, universe of the My Time series. You get to know it a little bit more. Um, there are mentions of the Day of Calamity in Sandrock already. And uh, Portia went uh, did quite well with explaining what happens on the Day of Calamity. And I don't know whether this game will do the same. So I think for like backstory, like getting to know the characters and like getting to know the mechanics, which you can do in this game as well. I mean, there, there, there is no reason not to assume that you can learn like the basics of the uh, My Time universe in this game. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend anyone just to play Porsche as well, because it's, it's a great game. And I mean, this game looks better already. And of course it's newer. Um, but still, it, it's... I think it's worth playing Porsche. And I think if you play this first and then Porsche, it might be... You might get... Uh, Disappointed in Portia because there are a lot of things that I didn't necessarily like in Portia, or a couple of things that bothered me, uh, which isn't bad, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, but there are some, like, nitty gritty things, and, and indeed, they, they learned from the mistakes from the first one, and they've made uh, Sandrock. So, yeah, I, I would recommend just playing Portia first and then playing Sandrock. But if you can't wait playing Sandrock, uh, then. Um, Play Central. Uh, you've played Portia a lot, just never completed the story. Oh, that's a shame. Well, if, if you don't plan on playing it further, I do have like the whole Portia story on my uh, channel. So uh, there's a link down below in the about section to my YouTube. Um, so if, if you want to have a look there, then you can always have a look. Uh, is there anything else I can make? I need to make a couple of bars, but I need a couple of stuff and I can make one more brick. Oh, uh, let's make this one more brick. I mean, can't hurt, can it now? Okay, so this is going. It's uh, almost six o'clock, so we can, can have a quick look around uh, and discover a bit more of Portia. Oh, it's the five stock meeting. I completely forgot. Uh, let's do read this. This fence design seems to imply people shouldn't take water out of the oasis all really nilly or contaminate it anything. That, that's a good thing they put that there. Yeah, there is a link, Bam. At least there should be. Otherwise, I, I'm worried that my Twitch channel has changed overnight. But I think I put a link to both Discord and YouTube, both in the About section, as well as every now and so often in the chat. I subscribe. Thank you, Violenity. Thank you so much. Oh, she actually came out of the door, and people are getting her here. Who did we see before? Heidi! Hi there, I'm Heidi, architect of Rony Spots. Looks like old Mason handed you down a real fix-up of a wood, wood workshop. Huh? Well, lucky for you, I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my office sometimes if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. Oh, oh no, it, it, it's not the same one as um, the um, Lock A, I think it was called in Polcham. It's definitely not the same woman. Well, look at you, a new builder in town. Always get to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take the scarf, it gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Mate. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Oh, that's kind. Let's have a look. I'm actually equip that. I certainly hope so. Uh, probably should put it on my hotbar. Uh, that's the car. Oh, switch around things. I. But if I put it away now, I think it's removed. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary, is it? Ah, it works like that. It's not drag and drop, it's actually... you have to click on it. Anything else that I received? Uh, this is a sandworm. No, not really. 
All right, let's wait for the fly side meeting to begin in like three, two, one. Let's go. Simmer down now, you're. Um, many of you know our resident builder Mason, who has been a hardworking member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. Today's meeting is not about goodbyes, there will be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today's a celebration of hellos. Let's give it our all for our new builders, Mien and Ronina. Thanks everyone, very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Ronina, care to say a few words? Uh, okay, so either I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a great build, of, I want to be a great builder. I want to make many friends and I want to live a carefree life. Let's say I want to make many friends. Oh, well, I didn't expect that one. You got yourself a companionable soul here. I'm sure you find lots of friends here at Sandrock. Everyone, let's be patient with a new builder while they learn the ropes. And builders don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. Thank you, Commissioner Yen. One more thing. A big Sandrock welcome to our new builders. We have some omelets courtesy to none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. So we've got another set of omelets. Uh, I don't think I've seen Jensen. We've met, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Jensen, the conductor of the Centrock station. Nice to have you in Centrock. Whatever I attend fireside, trains are mentioned a, a bit too sparsely for my taste too. But what can you do, right? Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, I think it's time to go home. It's 9 o'clock. We're going to have a good night's sleep and tomorrow we're going to have a look what our recyclers did. And whether they actually outputted whatever we need and probably go back to the junkyard once again. Oh, the music is so nice. It, this is like the, the ideal type of music that it's... It's made in such a way that you can filter it to the background if you want to. But if you want to listen to it, it's like this very nice and calming music. I really do enjoy this. Right. Sleepy, sleepy night time. Yeah, I might want to upgrade our cabin a little bit in the future. Let's sleep. Alrighty. Let's go around and see what's happening. Maybe someone is at the door again. When I wake up. We've just been in the second day. And uh, Birch is on the third day. On the third, fourth day there's no one. Which is also nice every, so now, every now and so often. Uh, we can't make any of these. We can do a little bit of stone scrap. Which we can recycle. Which is great. And this recycler probably has a lot of other stuff as well. Same goes for the furnace. Alrighty, so let's have a quick look and put some stuff away in the storage. Alright. Uh, let's pull up the crane lifts. So we do have the bearings. We do have thick ropes, which I'm not really sure as where to get them. Uh, we're missing one brick. Can we make one more brick is the question. No, we can't. We're missing... Oh, goodness gracious. I'm having hiccups. I am talking a little bit too fast. Alright, got some more stone. Let's make those bricks. I am so sorry. I'm gonna be stay quiet for a little while, I think. <laughs> right, so now I've got enough bricks. Because I completely forgot that I put some in the recycler.
So I'm just going to look around my workshop to see if there are any scrap piles and let's just gather them around. I should make an X in the future as well. Still having hiccups. I might need to get some water here. <laughs> because not talking in during a stream is gonna be a bit annoying. Alright, got most of the scrap here. There's a lot here. Scrap can always use that. Oops, this is high quality wood. Can't do anything with that. Oh, and there's an invisible wall over there. Yeah, I won't be able to go through. Let's go the official route. So let's get some more scrap from the junkyard. Or the salvage yard, I should probably say. We're just looking for a thick rope and the crane leaf and the wooden sticks. Not really sure how we can make them. Oh, in just a second, I'm just going to get myself a good glass of water. This hiccups don't stop rather soonish, then I am going to go crazy. Not enough stamina, well, lucky for me, I've got sweet and sour sandwich. Oh, my health points are full. Well, there's nothing here for me to eat, so I just have to quickly go home.